Stephanie Stitches here. Welcome to my channel where together we sew. If you're brand new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and ring the bell for notifications so you'll know when I post videos like this one or go live. Happy to have you here. And if you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. I love seeing all of your comments in the comment section down below. So today I got some happy mail. So it's just a quick little video today to show you what I got. I got the So Yeah Basics box. <laughs> I really like the subscription box. Um, this is the October box, so we only have October, this one, November, and December left until there's no more basics box. Um, I've really enjoyed getting this this year. There's been a few months that haven't been my favorites, but a few months that I've really, really loved. I knew that would happen. That's going to happen when you have a subscription, and it's a blind subscription. Um, but overall, for the most part, I thought this was a good idea. I think they did a really great job introducing us to new fabric companies, new fabric lines that we might not have known of. There was definitely a few that I had not heard of that I saw and I was really excited for them. So I'm happy that I got this box. Now in January, actually before January, I think in December sometime they announce what the new subscription is going to be for the next year. Um, the previous year it was a grunge box and this year it's been the basic box so it'll be interesting to see what they've got up their sleeve for next year. So, um, if you haven't been over to Sew Yeah Quilting yet, make sure you go check them out. They sell live every Tuesday and Saturday on YouTube, and that's usually where they announce their next box. So, if you're interested in getting a box from them next year, because they are definitely all sold out for this year, um, head on over there, subscribe to their channel, and um, you'll see um, if you watch them regularly, they'll announce like when they're going to talk about their box. Okay, enough about that. Let's get this open, because I am dying to see what's inside. <laughs> okay, so here's my Soya Basics box. As you can see, I have not opened it yet. So let's get this open. This is always the hardest part. <laughs> Their boxes are tight. Oh, there we go. All right, so right on top, there's always a, a card with a QR code which gives you the um, pattern and tutorial on their website for this month and it says on the other side 25% off all Michael Miller fabrics so this must be a fabric line from Michael Miller so that's cool and let's see what the card says it says hey friends can you believe it's already October hopefully you have been having a wonderful fall so far it's Raimi's favorite season after all so the Soya brothers have sisters, <laughs> one of them's Raimi. Uh, so let's get right to it. Oh, I'm gonna like this box. Okay guys, Fairy Frost. Mm. So Fairy Frost supposedly is in this box. So it says there's 84 colors in the collection and they gave us some of the colors. Obviously not 84, so I can't wait to see what's in here. Okay. And then on the back of the card, it talks a little bit about the history of Michael Miller fabrics. It's very long, so I'm not going to read all that. Um, they always put a <laughs> a dumb jad, dad joke in here, so let's see what it is like this month. And they call it that themselves, so that's not me being mean. Um, it says, how do ghosts wash their hair with shampoo? Ba -dum -bum. <laughs> Uh, it's just enough to make you chuckle, right? <laughs> Let's see. They usually put a sticker. Ooh, I like this one. It says, so yeah, quilting. That's really neat. I think this is one of my favorite stickers so far. Very cute. They always have a good sticker. Okay. And then they always give us a large spool of Aurifil, and this month is a variegated spool. Number 4665. This looks like the black white and gray variegated. I'll have to confirm when I take it open, but that's what it sure looks like. I've had that before. Okay, so that's nice. And then there's a notion in here. Holds ruler securely and safely. A ruler grip. It's a suction cup grip for rulers and templates. Makes rotary cutters safer and easier and holds rulers securely. Pairs perfectly with a 6 by 12 inch ruler. Okay, so this little thing has, I don't want to take it out of the package because I might give it away, 
um, has suction cups on the bottom of it and you stick it to your ruler and helps you hold your ruler in place. That's a nice little notion if you've got rulers that slide. Okay, now to the fairy frost. Oh, I love fairy frost. If you guys follow my channel at all, you know I did a sew along a few months ago made out of all blues of fairy frost. So I am excited to have these. Oh, I love me some fairy frost. Now, these are definitely so yeah colors. <laughs> it looks like it's a project like that would be made for Soya. Yeah. Like we can make a Soya yeah banner out of this with the colors we got. So Fairy Frost comes in two types. They have a high shine and a low shine. Um, the low shine does not have any glitter on the outside of the fabric. The shine is in the fabric, which is what this one is. These are the kinds that I prefer because I don't get glitter all over my sewing space. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with all the other ones. They're beautiful like this one. If you guys can't tell, it's super shiny in the light. This is the white, but it's a high shine. So glitter is going to, it doesn't come off as much as other companies glitter, but it does come off. And I don't use the high shine for quilts because it is a little bit itchy, but this is perfect for like a winter table runner or wall hanging or some other project that you really want to sparkle but not necessarily you're going to cuddle with it because this is scratchy. But the low shine ones aren't scratchy at all. They're actually super, super soft. So that's why I love those. I don't dislike these. It's just that I wouldn't, I wouldn't make a quilt out of them. But they're great for all kinds of projects. I can see all kinds of wintry crafting projects out of the high shine ones. So we've got a white. We've got a low shine gray. It's a blackish gray, sort of. It's a darker gray. Maybe what you would call a lead or a slate. And then we've got this lighter gray, uh, more of an ash gray. It's got the high shine. And then the black, as you can see, has the high shine as well. Look how shiny that is. Isn't that pretty? Super gorgeous. And there's a lot of this. These ones, I think, I can't tell, but I think they're about a fat quarter. Yeah, it looks like a fat quarter. Those look like fat quarters to me. This one is quite a bit. I want to say it's at least a yard, maybe more even. Let's see. Let's fold it in half. And Okay, there's two yards. There's actually two yards of this. I was not sure if it was a yard and a half or two yards, but there's definitely two yards. So lots and lots of this, which is gorgeous. I could, you could definitely use this to make, a, I'm, I'm, can't wait to see what their project is. Um, the only way to see it is to scan that QR code. They usually don't have it up by the time the box gets here. Um, it just happens that way, so it's not like I could pull it up right now and show you guys. But I wouldn't be surprised if this didn't make some kind of winter wall hanging or, like I said, a table runner or something like that. Because there's a, not a ton of fabric, like not enough to make a quilt, but there's definitely enough to make something like that. And with this high shine, um, that's what I would use it for personally. But it's gorgeous. I mean, just look. Look at the shine in the light. It looks like diamonds, isn't it? It's gorgeous. This is so pretty. The camera doesn't want to focus on this one because with the light shining on it, it just it's just so pretty. It just looks like snow, like that glistening snow before anybody's touched it that's got that glisten on it before the kids go out and play in it or the snow blower comes. Ugh, so pretty. And then this is the soft one and this is another high shine one. So whatever they have in mind for us, I think it's going to be really neat. And if it's not one of those type of projects, I will probably turn this into some sort of um, wall hanging or something like that, just because I feel like this fabric lends itself to that. It's so beautiful. Okay, so another great month from Soya. Um, 
I make it no secret that I give my own opinions, but I actually really, really love this month. I love the Fairy Frost fabrics. It comes in so many colors. In blues alone, I think there's like, I don't even want to guess, but at least 10, you know, and I love blues. Um, but it comes in just about every color of the rainbow, you know, that you can think of. And like I said, I recommend more for a quilt, the low shine because the the shine is in the actual fabric um, so there's no anything on top to make it scratchy but if you're just making a craft project um, like I said a wall hanging table topper table runner something like that then you could use the high shine this would even be really pretty if you want to put something in a in a um, quilt show that you're not going to use as actual quilt it's just for show and make it really shiny Oh yeah, I can see that. It's so pretty, but I just, I love Fairy Frost. So hope you guys like this box opening. Uh, I'd love to hear what you think of the Fairy Frost fabrics. If you've used it before, what you've used it for. Um, and if you get this box, are you going to, what you're going to make with this? So um, that's about all I have. And I will see you guys soon. Take care and have a wonderful week. Bye.